everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Jones 911 and I'm here today at the Crafty Maven Getaway. And today is Free Flow Wednesday and I got these um, brush o watercolors about two months ago and I haven't had a chance to play with them. So basically they're just like a powder in these little containers and uh, you can go see on my channel which the link will be down below where I sort of got them and I kind of did a little demo but basically you just take uh, like um, a piercing tool and you just put a hole at the top and it comes in several different colors this is just one of the ways to use them I ended up using the orange the turquoise the yellow lemon sorry and emerald green and I just sprinkled a little bit and then you just add water and the magic happens they're just so cool so i wanted to add a little bit more orange so i just added a little bit more uh orange powder and voila what i first did was i just free hand drawn a heart and i just on a piece of actually it was watercolor paper that i had tested those brush uh watercolors and they're from color craft and um, so I just hand cut it with um, X-Acto knife and then now I'm actually on some watercolor paper too and because I didn't know how much water I was going to end up using I probably could have just done it on some white cardstock probably because it, it wasn't uh, that wet and you saw I just added some water with a sprayer and then I just uh, used a roll of paper towel and kind of soaked up the excess water. And now I'm going to cut it down to about 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. And what the reason I wanted to use those one was because I hadn't used them and they seem like a lot of fun to play with. And it won't be the last time I use them. That is for sure. I absolutely love them. And uh, I actually have... I think a set of 12 and a set of eight so I have about 20 so a nice variety now I was told that you can get them on Amazon too and they're way cheaper so go check on Amazon apparently they're way cheaper than let's say at Simon Says Stamp or somewhere like that if especially if you get them on sale and because sometimes Amazon has stuff on sale right and um, so now I'm going to use a black pen and I'm going to end up using the scarlet lime and uh, she has a shop and she has classes and everything and um, I love her pens they're like a pigment ink in a pen and I'm showing you the pen right now I was kind of hesitant because I really liked the way it looked right now and I thought I could really mess that up because <laughs> I this is a permanent pen I cannot remove it so I'm kind of like, Ooh. so what I decided to do was put sort of the template back on. And by putting that template on, what it, two things it did is when I did the watercolor, I ended up adding a lot of um, adhesive on the back so that it wouldn't move, so that the, the watercolor wouldn't seep through. And the other thing it did was I was able to use it as a template as I'm doing the... Um, the outline of it with my black pen and I did it once very neat and then I did it two more times kind of wobbly so that it kind of did a sketchy heart and I really like that now I went through my stash and I found these these are basil cardstock that I have had in my stash for years I'm talking more than eight years eight to ten years and um I was anyway I'm packing up my craft room so I'm finding all these treasures and I found a whole bunch of these basil cardstock and I'm like ooh, I'd like to use them so I have a ton a ton so I just took a little bit of every color and I just kind of put it sort of somewhere where I could you know so it'd be ready and right there for me to use so I just used some six by six pattern papers that were um, just in my stash and one of them is the Bow Bunny Sweet Life collection and the other one is the Brighton Pier collection from Studio Calico and that's where I got the the 6x6 pattern paper with all the words. Oh I love that pattern paper. 
and then the one with the plus sign with the navy is actually um from the Bo Bunny Sweet Life collection. And, and I um, haven't subscribed to the Freckle Fawn kits in quite a few months. And that is probably the kit that I've <clears throat> missed the most. So I think I'm gonna resubscribe. So what I did was I just placed an order and uh, I got the August kit. And I got a few, um, actually what I did was I'm starting to get ready for um, my December daily. So I got some numbers for my December daily, a few washies. And then a few weeks later, I ordered a bunch of other past kits. And I think I'm just going to resubscribe because I miss the embellishments. And that's what I like is that it's all embellishments. And I love embellies. So anyway, sideline here. But I think I'm going to resubscribe to um, the Freckle Fawn kit. So I took another sheet from that Bow Bunny Sweet Life and it's all that diagonal stripe and I kind of matted the whole photo with it but then I'm going to put that plus sign and kind of put it over top so you can only see part of it. I had um, part of I think it was a Valicious and I just cut down that sort of that journaling strip and it just says true story and that's where I'm going to do my journaling. There was these strips from the crepe paper confetti collection and it's just some tickets and I thought that's perfect because you know we had to buy tickets to get in to the New England um, aquarium. So I'm going to cut out a couple of strips. I'm going to cut out an aqua and an orange and I'm going to kind of zone in on the aquas and orange um, for the embellishments. And then I grabbed a simple story summer vibe and I'm going to grab I think a ticket from that and then I'm going to take a sticker sheet that was just sitting there on my desk and I know it's Amy Tangerine but I'm not really sure what collection it is. There it is right there and I end up taking the globe because it just just kind of reminds me of traveling and the stuff that we do when we're traveling and it's so fun. One thing that we did notice this summer is, man, we have a lot of stuff locally that we needed to do and uh, we haven't done. So I'm going to be doing some layouts about that because we did do a few things and it was so much fun. And uh, as we were doing it, I'm like, you know, I can't believe that we travel hours and hours away to do fun stuff. And this is in our backyard and it was so much fun and it's been here for like seven years and we haven't done it yet. So um be watching on my channel. I'll be doing layouts for that for sure. And it's been kind of sporadic on my YouTube channel lately. And it's all Apple's fault <laughs> with their bloody upgrades. I think, I don't want to say f yes, but I've been playing with it a lot. And I won't say I'm comfortable. Um, yesterday I was having problems rendering my movies and I even sent this frantic message on Messenger to Anna. Well, I don't know if I'm going to have my video ready. iMovie's giving me all kinds of trouble. And she was really sweet and said, don't worry about it. You know, if you can do it, if you can't just do a blog post, crossing fingers. I'm doing the voiceover right now. Hopefully I can, you know, render it and upload it to YouTube on time and then um, hopefully be able to still do a blog post too. And um, so sorry, Anna, if, uh, you know, I know you said don't stress, this is supposed to be fun, but still when I make a commitment, I like to stick with it. So now I um, grabbed these from my stash. It ac actually came from a previous hip kit and I'm just gonna, and it matches perfectly that picture of that turtle. Isn't that, I just love that picture. I think I wanna blow it up, maybe a five by seven or even bigger and do another layout. Like I know I've already done a layout with it, but I love the blues in that photo. I didn't edit it or anything. It's just so pretty. So I, I wanna make it bigger and do something else, uh, you know, with that picture. So uh, those 
stickers are kind of wide, so I'm cutting it down, and I'm going to put the tur the turtle. <laughs> I'm going to put the title directly on the photo, and it's just I love turtles, and I do, um, and my kids do too when they were younger oh man did they ever bug way back you used to be able to get turtles at the pet shops and they stopped you know doing that because you know they get big and then people didn't want them anymore and then the zoo was just overflowing with turtles that people that people didn't want and um you know we're the kind of <laughs> people that if you get a pet and i know there's tons of people like that out there but um, if you get a pet, it's for life. So you got to think that they have a lifetime of, you know, X amount of years. And so I was like, no, we are not getting a turtle because they live forever <laughs> and they get big. <laughs> and, uh, but I do love them. I think they're so cute. Um, so I love going to see the turtles, whether it's at the aquarium. I kept chasing it around the aquarium thing so I could get a better look. And then we went at the top and it was just swimming up there at the top. So I got amazing photos and I was so happy. So now I'm looking for a background that I can put my whole layout. And I decided on these cardstock, which has been in sitting my stash again forever. And it was from this company called Scrapbook Sally. And I can tell you, I struggle with this layout for embellishments because I had to go to my whole stash. And that's why... I love scrapbooking with kits. So I'm going to be having a class that's going to be uh, available sometime in September. So be watching for that. And it's how to make a kit from your own stash. So here are a few close-ups of all the different embellishment clusters. And where this was so busy with color, I didn't want to add too many embellishments. So that's it. Thank you you for joining me today at the Crafty Maven Getaway. So thanks for watching. Bye.